welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty where will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. However, what I do know is that this is episode 3 in our Three Palettes, One Continent series with the beautiful Nona and the beautiful Laura. And the palette that we are all using today is the Main Squeeze or Watermelon palette. So, if you want to see exactly which numbers or which colours were chosen this time for me and what our challenge was for this month and see this in a glorious Technicolor and then my friend you are in precisely the right place Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and relax, because here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. If you can see a shadow just there. This shadow? It's my gorgeous assistant. Mm. Lil. Assistant, eh? Right, mm. this is the continuation of the... <laughs> Three Continents, One Palette series that I'm doing with Nona and Laura. And this month we are doing the Main Squeeze or the Watermelon Ooh. Palette. Now I'm having to hold this very carefully because every time I open this, this one and this one and this one keep trying to fall out. So I'm holding it very level. You need some glue. Huh? Probably, but I'll deal with that another time. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, normally, I would go to randomizer and randomly pick five numbers, but I'm going to have my sexy assistant. It's all right. The pen's at the other oh, end. Oh, all right. Oh. As if I'd be drawing on your beard. I thought you'd go put it up my nose, actually. Well, like you did with the horse, and it snotted up your arm. I don't think so. Yeah, I do have an interesting relationship with horses. <laughs> You're going to have to explain that now. Okay, okay. Once upon a time, we were uh, some, some of my friends and I were walking through the hills near where we live. And uh, there was a horse in a field. So I thought, I'll go and stroke the horse. I don't know if it made that noise. That sounds more like a cat, doesn't it? But anyway. And then it reared its head up and put its nose back down. And my fingers went straight up its nose. And I pulled them out, and they were covered in horse snot, and then it sneezed on me. And that really is the only interesting um, relationship he ever has with horses. That was so nearly an X-rated channel. <laughs> Sorry. So as I was saying, rather than... <laughs> starting to debate my options now. Rather than go online and <laughs> randomly choose five numbers... Yeah. I thought I'd let Hubby look at the palette and randomly oh, choose okay. five shades for me. And this is the first time he's seen the palette. It, it is actually. I've never seen this before. So, mm. uh, hold that level. Really, really level. Really, like, really like, level. Like this. Yeah, because I need to write down the shades that you choose. Uh, okay. Right, go on then. I will go with Big Gulp. Yeah. I will go with Juicy Fruits. Mm -hmm. I will go with Frosé. 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 You know what I mean. It's Frozen Rosé. Oh. It's very a... nice, actually. Can I lick it? No! Christopher. Oh, sorry. No, it's not edible. It's not edible. <laughs> Two more. Uh, I will go with Maraschino. Is that how you say it? It is how you say it. It's hey. cherry. Oh, I say. How exciting. And I'll go with Baywatch. 
I am not putting an orange swimsuit on and jogging across the garden. It'll be slow motion and I can run towards you. Thank you, darling. With a big board thing under my arm. Glad you um, clarified what you're going to have under your arm. Telling people not to hassle me. <laughs> oh dear. Gets that sense of humour from his father. Hmm. His baby brother has the same sense of humour. Mm. Baby brother's girlfriend tells him off for telling pun jokes, oh. so now he sends them to me. So now I get them both doing we it. We love puns. I best leave before you punch me. Oh. Thank you, darling. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Can I have my bin back, please? Oh, you bin back, bin back, bin back, bin back. Love you. <laughs> See you in a bit. Thank you, darling. <laughs> So, nuttiness abounded. So the order I need to put those on in is, because we decided we were going to do it alphabetically this month. I didn't tell Chris that, because I didn't want it to affect his choices. So, Baywatch, Big Gulp, Frosé, Juicy fruit and then maraschino. Okay. So let's have a swipe of those all on the back of my hand just to see what colours I'm playing with. Right, I watch big gulp. Bronze, eh? They watch Big Gulp and Froze, eh? and then Juicy Fruit <laughs> and Maraschino. He's given me three shimmers and two maps to work with. So that is the order that I have to apply these on. In rather. Okay. This could be interesting. Right. Um, while I'm thinking about that, I'll go through my usual waffle. This is a teaching channel uh, that, combined with my um, chronic pain, if you can hear that clipping, it's hubby clipping his fingernails. Um, <laughs> that, combined with chronic pain, means that I don't blend as quickly as a lot of channels do. Uh, if I'm going too slowly for you, because I want to make sure even absolute beginners can follow me, up here is a speed widget. And yes, I'm actually in a jumper today because it's actually feeling like winter is coming. <laughs> Not to my dad there. True Yorkshire. Um, Yes, that's the Yorkshire side of me, and my mum was the Welsh side. So, um, My face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed with my usual antiperspirant primer. I finally emptied the previous one, and I'm now starting a fresh tube. I love starting a fresh tube with that. Let's get you zoomed in. Wait for my white balance to catch up. There we go. Right. Um... I've actually got deep set eyes, but a lot of people with deep set eyes mistakenly think or are mistakenly informed that they have hooded lids because we get the same issues. We get transference of colours from the um, mobile lid to the static lid. Uh, if we're cutting our crease, we have to cut onto the upper lid rather than just on the socket. And. We also have the issue that even with glitter glue, we'll get a bare patch of glitter right through there. I'm going to talk you through how to work out which type of eye you have, and then the workaround for each type of eye so that you can follow any tutorial that you see on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter. 
Right, with your brows relaxed, look straight forward and you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if the static lid completely covers right down to the lash line, part or all of your mobile lid, that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. If I cover, because this is the eye that I'm blind with so I can make sure I'm still on camera. If I cover my visible mobile lid and close my eye, you can see I've got as much, if not more, lid that tucks back away. And if I roll it up and cover the visible static lid and do the same, you can see I've got static lid that gets tucked back in as well. And it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give us the same issues that people with hooded lids get. So, now you've worked out which type of eye you have, and you could have one hooded and one deep set. It's always possible. For hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush, and on your static lid, sketch out where you need your new crease to fall. Now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the new crease and the brow, so use slightly smaller blending brushes than the person doing the tutorial, and if necessary, um, unless it's an editorial look, I normally leave a gap between the colours and the brow, you may find you have to go right up to the brow if you really are restricted on physical um, space there that you have available. If you have deep set eyes like I have, all we have to do when we're putting a colour through our crease is stop, relax our brows and just make sure we've brought it up high enough that it can be seen when our eyes are open. It is that simple and I still don't have a scooby about how I'm going to do this. Let's see how the shimmers and the mattes blend out. Right, I've just blended the first three just to work out tonally where we're at. So, okay. Here goes. Wish me luck. Right, I'm going to use some of the brushes from um, the AliExpress sets that I recommend. And I'm going to start off with a tapered blending brush number six, which is a round brush, long bristles, very, very loose, quite a wide. Whatever the width of the head, that's how far it's going to blend the shadow out, okay? So, I have to start with Baywatch. Fabulous. Um... So I'm going to start off with that. This is so difficult having to start with a shimmer and then go and use mattes. Um. Okay, let's just go for it. I'm going to pop a bit of this. Now, my eye is primed with my usual Crow and Pebble eye primer, details of which are below. Um, I love this because it goes on dry. It's not sticky, you don't have to set it and you can blend on it straight away as you can see. Shimmers obviously take a little bit more work to blend because they're not designed to be blended, they're designed to be packed on. Um, and I do struggle here and here with uh, dry patches which makes it even more difficult to start off with but as you can see I'm holding the brush right at the end and I'm doing lots of little circular movements so as I go in towards the nose I'm going in that direction and then reverse in the direction when I come back just trying to get that upper outer section just flick that across a little bit so it'll hopefully blend into one of the mats when I build the mat up there. Right, so I'm going to try and remember to talk to you about the girls, but I do, I will end up slipping back into um, teaching mode. It's, it's, it's second nature for me now. 
But Nona and Laura had decided they were going to do a series surrounding the Colourpop nine pan monochromatic palettes and I'd messaged Nona without realising this saying hey do you want to do something around the nine pan colour pops because I've actually got quite a few now um, a lot I've bought direct from colour pop I, I bought them two at a time because that way with the um, customs and the uh, postage packing cost it, it it made each palette about 16, 17 quid, which I could kind of handle, I want, you know. Otherwise they work out sort of like 23, 24 quid each, which, yeah, I'm not going to do that for a nine pound palette. Not, not from Colourpop, sorry. Um, and some I picked up from Depop, which is a selling site here in the UK. I believe you've got it in America as well, because I have seen some people that... Um, it, it comes up as you know UK sellers and then rest of the world so I'm guessing that it's available in America as well um, I've actually managed to build up quite a big collection of them now I really 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 like them next time I do um, a declutter I'm probably going to be able to get rid of an awful lot of my other palettes because I've been keeping them for like one or two specific shades which will be in one of these palettes which is great because my collection is getting way too big and I really need to do a huge declutter on them but I'll do that probably either at the end of the year or um, in January to see what I get for Christmas so uh, I've got a clean washcloth here that I'm going to clean this brush off with and then I shall go into Big gulp. Yeah, big gulp. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I messaged Nona and said about, you know, I've got a lot of these colour pop palettes now, do you fancy doing something? And she went, Well actually, I've got a series that I'm starting with Laura. Do you want to join in with us? And I'm like, well, yeah, if Laura doesn't mind me jumping on board. And Laura's like, no, of course I don't mind. Don't be silly. So I'm going to pop this, this side. And try and get that to blend in. Oh, actually, that's good. That's actually blended in really nicely there. That's good. I was expecting problems and didn't get them. And that's the kind of thing I like to see. Now I deliberately knocked a lot of the colour off because I want to build this up slowly. I don't want to sort of end up with too much and then having to blend it so far across I lose the, the shimmer here. The, the beauty of blending out a shimmer like I did here is that you blend a lot of the shine away um, and just leave the base colour. Next door's girls are getting ready for Halloween. It is actually Halloween the day I'm filming this. And uh, I had a sudden panic message from their mum. Oh my god, Andrew, we've got pumpkins and we haven't got tea lights, can you help? And of course Hubby in his man cave has lots of little candle type lanterns. And I'm like, yeah, 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 no problem. So Chris shot down to his man cave and got us some tea lights. I think she was surprised, I think she thought I'd have tea lights rather than hubby, but I'm more of a wax melt kind of girl, I've really got into that, wax melts rather than candles and stuff. Okay, I like that. In real life you can see it's two different colours, on camera it's looking pretty much the same colour, so I'm not going to complain about that. I'm going to clean this brush off. And I'm going to swap brushes and then go in with a frosé. Hmm, I think I should have done frosé where I've done big gulp. Never mind. Let's go in with frosé. I'm going to go in with a, this is what they call a contour brush 9. It's still a blending brush. 
but it's much more contained so it's going to hold the colour in a lot more which is what I want yeah so Laurel's like of course I don't mind so we, uh, we started this and we were trying to think of a funky name for it and I'm like well look I'm in Europe you're in America you're because it's when we were trying to work out time zones when we were gonna um, you know what time we were gonna upload so that we all uploaded on the same day because obviously Nona is since the clocks have now gone back here in the UK Nona is five hours behind me Laura is 13 hours ahead of me so it's difficult to find a time that we all upload we're all physically uploading on technically the first Saturday of the month um, so we decided that Nona was going to go with six o'clock in the morning uh, I was going to go for 11 o'clock which was formerly midday for me which is our usual times and then Laura will be uploading bang on midnight but she said she doesn't mind that because a lot of her audience is UK and America only so um, it means that she catches them at the right time and then people in Australia can see it first thing Sunday morning when they're getting up and having a, a nice relaxing start to their, their weekend, well their Sunday. So that has actually really blended nicely together, it kind of in the camera, that was not a 30 mile an hour motorbike going past my house. It's weird because in the camera it looks like these are all three the same colour. But, I mean, you can see from the swatches, they're absolutely not. But when they're blended like this, it does look like... almost the same colour. My white balance has just gone suddenly very blue in my viewfinder. That is weird. Don't think I like it very much. Hello, can we go back to the previous one where I don't like a dead zombie? That would be nice, thanks. I'm just cleaning this brush off. And I'm just going to wipe the back of my hand off as well. Before I end up forgetting myself and going like that and ended up with stripes of it up my cheek like... I don't know what. Right, now it's time to go in with shimmers and I'm using this god awful lightning glow thing with these awful shimmer pigment in it because I can't use it as a setting spray I'll spray it onto the back of my hand and I'll show you why if it'll actually spray mechanism on this is broken. I need this look I need a hole in the head today. Right. Apparently I'm not going to be using that spray at all. Do I have another one back here that I was using? No, so I need to go look over to this side and grab a fresh spray. Right, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Primer Water Spray instead. Seriously. What is with the sprays in my house not wanting to spray today? There we go. Thank you. I swear I've got gremlins in my house. Ever since I did that film with Terra, where I did the gremlin look, Greta the gremlin. Right. Now, never go into a pressed pigment with a wet 
brush. I might actually grab one of the smaller brushes. I'm going to grab... This is um, one of the Jeffrey Morphe brushes. This is one of their lip brushes, JS24. But I love it for getting right down into the crease here. So what the, I've got to use Juicy Fruit next, which is the gold. Okay. So I'm going to pack pigment on both sides of the brush. I know I said gold, but it looks red there, but it is actually gold. And I'm going to spray both sides of the brush. Always, always dry your ferrule off so you don't get any moisture running down in here and loosening the glue, otherwise your brushes will be foobar and you will not be happy. But I'm going to look into a small mirror down here so that I can still say stay in focus there for you. I'm going to pop this onto the inner part of my mobile lid. It's a shame I have. It's a shame Chris didn't pick up red bottoms. I was really hoping he was going to pick red bottoms. It's a nice deep one for deepening up through the crease. But that proves to you I have not influenced my husband in any way, because otherwise he would have chosen that one. Right, drying the brush off and then going back into Juicy Fruit again. Same thing, pack both sides of the brush. And then spray it. What I'll do once this, I'm drying the ferrule off, once this um, little primer water spray is empty, I shall put the horrible makeup obsession one into here, minus the ridiculous pigments they have. Right, I've got really deep creasing here that I do have to stretch my lid out for, otherwise the shimmers pack really loosely into that crease and then throughout the rest of the day, and we do have to go to Iceland and get some shopping in a minute, not Iceland the country, Iceland the store, it's a f uh, frozen food store in the UK. Um, it ends up sort of cascading down my face if I don't do that because it just packs loosely into the crease rather than probably being blended on like I've just done there. Right, and now I'm going to go in with Maraschino. Again, I've cleaned it and dried the brush off. And again, packed both sides of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the girls do with theirs. I've um, collabed with both of them individually and in big collab groups as well. Uh, Nona is... she's getting into colour now. She was always the, the neutral queen before. I'm going to pop this over this, the outer half of the lid. Taking it right to the outer corner because I don't have a deep colour for deepening up that outer corner. So I'm going to take the shimmer right out there instead. Yeah, Nona was always the neutral queen. But since she's been doing more collabs, and especially the, the photo inspiration series that we do, or that I do on my channel, she's really been getting into colour and the girl knows her stuff, she can blend colours together really well. Um, she was a goth in high school, so if anyone has ever tried to blend a black out, just using a single colour black and blending it out, you know if you know if, if goths can blend that out well they can blend colours out well. Right, so I've dried the clean dried the brush off and I'm just going back in again. Just wetting the brush. You can use any kind of spray. Um, moisturising spray like MAC or Mario Badescu, prime water like I'm using now, um, setting spray, finishing spray, just clean water out of the tap in a spray bottle. All you're doing is moistening the pigment and just pop 
putting that onto this eye. Coming out to half and dragging the gold across onto it again. Okay. Given how this could have gone, I'm really quite happy with that. Right, I'm going to pause you very briefly while I do foundation etc. And then I will come back to finish off this eye look with you. For you my darlings there will be absolutely no delay at all, I'll be back instantly. For me however, I will see you the very next time that I press the record button. I am back and because I didn't have a darker shade to go through the crease with, I decided that I would chuck a couple of wings on and fingers crossed now that the worst of the pollen seems to be out of the way, hopefully, hopefully uh, these won't end up looking like Alice Cooper. Right, this is the brush from the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette. It's flat on top but it's super chunky. It's great for getting under your bottom lashes. And if I'm following the alphabetical thing, the only shade I can go in with is Maraschino, which is a shimmer. But I'm going to give it a go. So. I'm gonna, I've tapped this off really, really well to try and minimise the fallout. And I am blending. Actually, it's quite an appropriate look for Halloween, thinking about it. Maybe I'll wear my devil's horns to uh, Iceland. And maybe I won't. But. quite happy with how this looks. Now, I am going to grab my Jeffrey Sarcophagus highlighter. Yes, I bought the big pan. <laughs> um, and this is actually a lipstick brush that I bought off of eBay probably about 10 years ago now. And I'm going to pop that under the tail of my brow which by the way is the Revolution Pigment Pomade in Burgundy Red. I really hope they're bringing the pigments back and that they're just changing the packaging or something because they, uh, they don't seem to have them on their site anymore which is really annoying because I really am getting into the colour brow thing. And I'm going to pop some of this on my inner corner and bring it along under the tear duct and just blend it in with that red going under the eye. You do have to be careful using reds and pinks under your eye because you can end up looking a little unwell. Um, I mean I don't tend to put colours in my waterline anyway because they just my eyes water so much the minute I do that everything just ends up down my face um, but I think if you're going to do a look like this I wouldn't advise putting a red or anything on your um, inner waterline I'd recommend uh, either a cream or a white rather than something that could potentially make it look like you have pink eye right I don't know why I put that back here because I've got to put some on the rest of my face now Right. I'm going to pause you for one last time while I chuck some more of this highlight over my face, bung some mascara on, choose a lippy, do something with the hair, and I'll be right back. Voila, I am back. Right, uh, sarcophagus is the highlight that I used. Uh, the mascara was my Catrice Glamondal waterproof volume mascara because, as I said, do have to go out later and I don't want this ending up looking like Alice Cooper even though it is Halloween today. 
Um, this is a dupe for the Benefit Bad Girl Bang, but it's waterproof and it's cheaper. Although I believe Bad Girl Bang have now got a waterproof option. Uh, but this will still be cheaper. The lipstick I've gone for is, I, I treated myself when Pat McGrath had a sale on. And this is the Pat McGrath's Revelation Red Liquid Lipstick. Look at me with my Pat McGrath that I bought half price because I couldn't afford the full price one. It's dried down really well. Kiss proof. Feels nice and light on the lips. Feels like a Jeffrey, to be quite honest. So there you go. Right, so this is my finished look using the main squeeze or the watermelon palette putting five random colours on alphabetically so I'm going to get the hubby to come in and see what he thinks of my finished look wow. sorry thought I'd go in for a different intro um, there our, our god kids call him uncle pussycat so Grace this one is especially for you sweetie pie Love you. No, nothing to do with Jason Donovan then. Especially for you. Just turn around and smile. Hello. Come into the picture a bit more. Ah, yeah, I'm in. Mm. So I'll send Grace a screenshot of this. <laughs> She's going to love it. Right. Exciting. So. That's the five colours you chose that I have applied. Ooh. What do you think of the finished look? I think it's amazing. Really? Yes. Char, char, char. It's good. I like it. It's amazing. You like Strictly too? Da da da. So it's not stompy, clumpy, um, dull. dull. Certainly not dull at all, darling. If you're not in the UK and you don't watch Strictly, that is something that one of the um, bitchier judges regularly uses as an insult. Oh. It just made us chuckle. <laughs> you know, I still haven't worn those cat ears yet. Uh, it's alright, you can wear them too. Mm -hmm. You know they're designed for keeping your hair out of your eyes, though. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of the closest thing to... Surely, uh, in this case, you should be wearing them like that. Oh, like this? Now you look Amish. I do. Maybe not. No, no, maybe it's, not. It's, it's good, I Got any big hat? Got any wide-brimmed hats? I have as it happens, but it's black. Right. <laughs> Just going to go and uh, plough my field. Having now offended the entire <laughs> Amish community... <laughs> This is my finished look. Um, I cannot wait to see what Nona and Laura do. Now, Laura is an artist, so whatever colours she gets, she's going to make look absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. So, if you're one of my 4F babies, please double check you're still subscribed. YouTube are unsubscribing people at a rate of knots, whether you want to be subscribed or not. <sighs> And obviously once you've written whatever comment you feel like writing about either one of us in the comments section, please Yay. go across and check out both Nona and Laura's films to see exactly which colours they Ooh. got when they did a random pull Ooh. of num. It smells nice actually. Uh, smells good. It smells of my perfume. <laughs> Oh to see which colours they got when they did a random pull from this palette uh, and how their looks have turned out and if you haven't seen them before where have you been? I've collabed with them a number of times I've sent you over there quite a few times they are both awesome ladies you know, please subscribe to them jump through all the hoops that you need to to get notifications from them because on other days that you could just like a channel and YouTube would tell you when they next upload. 
If, however, you are here from one of their channels, hi, hello, welcome. Hello, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> <laughs> if um, you got this far through the film, I'm guessing you must have liked it just a little bit. Uh, if you're, if you're a, a little bit more. If you're, bit more. if you're watching it for the hubby, he doesn't always appear in the films. Uh, but he is actually on leave this week, which is why he made a guest appearance today. Ta-da! Um, if you've enjoyed the, the madness that is my channel and the <laughs> weirdness that is my husband... <laughs> Nothing strange about me, I assure you. No, you're very strange about you. You married me. I know. I suppose I'm a, uh, that would be a little bit strange. Yeah, yeah a little bit crazy. Uh, I've completely forgotten where I am in my outro now. <laughs> Obviously. Um, <laughs> that's fine, darling. Uh, if, it would be awesome if you'd like to join the 4F family by hitting that red subscribe button, turning mm. it grey and... Oh, where is it? Is it there? Is no, it there? It's, it's down... Oh, it's, it's down, down there. Down there, where's the button? No. It's, it's about sort of there-ish. So I'm just sort of down there. Uh, turning it from red... I don't have anything grey to show you. Um, uh, anything at all? It's kind of a light grey, I suppose. Potentially. That would have worked out so much better if I'd actually had something grey here at the time. Oh, oh my jumper! What am I talking about? Turn it from <laughs> red to grey. Oh, Lord. Well, uh, it works. If it's you've enjoyed random. this hot mess, please press subscribe. Uh, and, and join the fun and games that is 4F Beauty. And now, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time. Hey! Bye for now! No. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.